Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. Now listen, there is a curtain that is happening in the lives of many and the curtain is for rapid advancement to move you to your prepared place. The Lord has prepared a place for his remnants. There is a place that the Lord has prepared for his remnants. Those who have those who are gonna rise up in this hour those who are gonna move forward and those who are gonna walk in obedience there is a place that the lord has prepared for his remnants and this cutting is gonna enable the remnants to walk in alignment with the calling and it's gonna advance you to a place of safety the cutting is gonna advance you to a place of blessing this cutting is gonna advance you to a place of divine turn around where you are gonna receive things that you have never received before this place is a place of expansion this is a place of enlargement the cutting is gonna move you to this place and it's all gonna work out for your good it may be uncomfortable but just embrace it you see, God has been preparing his remnants for a long time in a place of hiddenness, in a place, in a place where they were hidden. They were hidden for a season because there is so much work that the Lord has been doing in a healing and even setting them apart. There has been a consecration that has been going on to set them apart for the work for such a time as this. There has been a, a work that is, is going on to align the remnants with the perfect will of God for such a time of, as this. There has been a lot going on in the inside and even on the outside spiritually and physically there is a lot of work that god has been doing in the lives of his remnants and most of it has been very uncomfortable it has been frustrating it has been it has not been pleasant but it is all working out for your good because you are being brought to a place that the lord has prepared for you a place of power a place of authority a place of ascension you are gonna be in a place where you are seated in the heavens in the heavenlies together with christ jesus just embrace what the lord is doing in your life yes it has not been easy for some it has been so long it has it seemed like this never ending season but it is god knows god knows it you see the work that is ahead for the remnant it is so great it is so great that God cannot allow you to go into that season with with some things that you have been carrying, with some burdens that the enemy placed on you. They have to be cut off. They have to be removed from your life. Before we get into this word and even get into what the Lord has been carrying in our lives, in the lives of the remnants, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to share your word. I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement and a revelation. Lord, anoint your word even as I release it. And I pray that whoever is going to hear this word lord they shall hear that which you're saying in this hour in jesus name i pray amen now listen there is going to be a cutting of covenants now this is so key because you see there are those of you who have been connected by way of covenant to things outside the will of god for your life and maybe it has been it has been you, you didn't do it knowingly you didn't do it out of rebellion it was out of ignorance or maybe unknowingly even some of the covenants were made on your behalf you didn't even know that there were covenants that was made on your behalf and these covenants have been affecting your life negatively these covenants have been blocking your advancement these covenants have been blocking your progress they have been blocking and sabotaging all the good things that the Lord has been releasing into your life. These covenants must be broken. These covenants must be cut off from off of your life. You see, all the ties, all the bonds, 
with wrong people must be severed and cut off. All the ties and bonds to, to wrong places, to wrong things in your life must be severed and must be cut off. This is not the time for you to be bound to anything that is outside the will of God for your life. Bind yourself to the covenant of the blood of Jesus. Bind yourself to the covenant of the blood of the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. That is the covenant that the Lord ordained for you. That is the covenant that the Lord ordained for his sons and daughters, for his remnants. We serve a covenant keeping God and God never breaks covenant. Listen, Abraham was instructed to leave his father's house. Gideon was instructed to destroy the idols of his father's house. They came from a family of idolaters. Cut covenants of your father's house that has been a hindrance to you. Break away from those covenants. God is cutting those covenants from off of your life. Break free from those covenants. They have been a hindrance to your advancements for a long time and some of these covenants, they are so deep-seated. You are not even aware that they were there. Allow the Lord to cut these covenants from off of your life. There is a cutting that has to take place for you to advance when God starts cutting away things in your life it may bring a separation from things that have been on the surface these are things that was a part of your growth process but now have to be removed from off of your life the cutting away prepares us for the next stage in the work that God has for us this cutting may be challenging, but it is for your good. This cutting is necessary for your advancement, separating you from things, separating you from places, separating you from people that impacted your life in a positive way in a particular season, but it is not necessary in your life anymore. Listen having to let go of this it's not gonna be easy having to let go of these places having to let go of these people having to let go of things that impacted your life in a positive way in a particular season in your life it is never easy but the cutting away is necessary there are things that god released in your life for a season and things that are for a lifetime Holding on to things that appear good for you in the natural can be detrimental. God is the end. You see, good is the enemy of better and better is the enemy of best. So never settle. Never settle for anything less than the best that God has for you. In fact, you have to, you have to break away from covenants that is hindering you from from receiving the best that God has for you. You always find yourself settling for less. You always find yourself settling for, for what is available. But God, whatever God has for you, it is always the best. There is going to be a cutting off especially on issues that have to do with the heart. Now, most Heart issues need to be pierced to the core to remove it effectively. You see, some are so deep-seated, you may not be able to notice that it is there. It is, it, you see, unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to you, you may not know that it is there. Because even if people tell you, you may think that they are lying to you or they are just being plain malicious. But these things, they have to be cut off from off of your heart. Things like pride, things like offense, anger, resentment, jealousy, envy. These are things that can be so deep-seated in your heart and the enemy 
He uses it uses these things as triggers to make us react to situation instead of acting on the word of God instead of acting according to the word of God. God is cutting off these things from off of your heart. This is usually very harmful. These things are very harmful and they hinder our advancement and they hinder also our progress in life. But when you embrace the cutting off, you are soon going to realize that the heavy burdens that was on you, this burden that you have been feeling like it is on you, it's going to be lifted and you are going to feel light and it becomes easier easier for you even to hear the voice of God it becomes easier for you even to hear God clearly there is there is going to be a cutting through now this deals with the obstacles the impediments and the hindrances anything that stands in a way of progress Isaiah 45 and verses 2 says I will go before you and I will level the mountains I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron there are things that arrest our development there are times that you may experience a situation that it seems like no matter how hard you try you never seem to get past a certain level it's like you are always hitting a brick wall a wall of limitation in your life or in a particular area of your life the cutting through is is gonna work for your good just embrace it you see cutting through involves things that god is will not necessarily remove from our life but is gonna make a way for you to go through it now this is not easy you see when you are praying for god to deliver you from something and instead he doesn't he just leaves you there but makes you go through it it makes you walk through it it makes you endure through it it is difficult it is challenging isaiah 43 19 says behold i will do a new thing now it will spring forth shall you not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert the lord never removed the red sea but instead he made a way for the children of israel through the red sea the lord never removed the wilderness but he sustained them in the wilderness there are times that we pray for God to get us out of a situation which we are meant to walk through the Lord is cutting through for you a way of escape in that situation and it is all working out for your good to advance you to your place of promise first Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 13 it reads no temptation has no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man but god is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are you are beyond what you are able but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it God will always make a way of escape for you. When God allows something in your life or God allows something in your life as part of the process, when his work is done, he's going to make a way of escape for you. So just embrace what the Lord is doing in your life. It is all working out for your good. It is for your good. May the Lord abundantly bless you. I love you so much. But the Lord, he loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. Blessings and shalom. And sorry about the background noise. It is the ceiling fan. It is so hot and humid. Yeah, I just have to leave it on. Otherwise, I'll be sweating like I'm in a sauna or something. I appreciate you all so much. Blessings.